Okay, here we are back in West Virginia, Appalachia, in Fallout 76. Uh, this is uh, my last gameplay video. I realized that once I got towards the end of it, that uh, probably all things considered, it was seemed like a negative video because I spent a lot of time talking about the the negative stuff in the game. So I want to try to highlight the things that I'm really enjoying about it in this one. First and foremost is what you're looking at here. This is a very good looking game. Uh, now I know a lot of people have said it's ugly, um, and you know you can make a you can make a reasonable case that yes, these are not the best graphics you're going to see in a video game. You're not. I mean, uh, really, uh, my high watermark is still God of War, which I find to be one of the most <laughs> singularly beautiful games I've seen in quite a long time. But you know what? The one thing that and this is again, you know, people may forget or maybe they didn't play Fallout 3 or New Vegas. Maybe they started with 4. You know, this is one of their first Fallout games. The original Fallout, the first two Bethesda Fallout games, quite ugly. Not just ugly because, you know, the, the graphics were not the best, but Fallout 3 has basically two colors, gray and grayish green. Fallout New Vegas was basically, I don't know, rust. Now, that's not to say those games were bad. I'm not making that point at all. I like both of those games quite a bit. But... You, you know, in comparison to where Fallout has been, this is quite nice, and I enjoy it. It's, you know, I'm not looking for the next God of War style graphics from a game like Fallout. I, I, oh, that's, I hit the barrier here. I knew the barrier was somewhere. I'm actually kind of amazed that I've ended up in a very empty area where there's really nothing to discover over here. Uh, because I'm sort of, I'm at the top of the map, but I'm getting towards the edge. So at some point, I'm going to hit another, you know, barrier. Uh, based on the where I just hit a barrier, probably right across the river. But we're going to keep going this way in case there is something out here. This is kind of my approach to all Fallout games, is I really spend most of my initial time, or my early time, whatever you want to call it, I spend exploring, looking around, seeing what there is to find. Um, so as far as that goes, I've been very happy with this game. Uh, it still feels big. It still feels like there's a lot to explore, that there's little hidden areas, that there are little s stories that probably nobody has discovered yet. That has been one of the real power points for Fallout, and it feels like this is no different, where I would replay and still replay those games and find new things constantly. I found that especially with New Vegas, and I'm not saying that that means it had more than the other ones, but I remember replaying New Vegas and just finding things that surely had to be there before, and I somehow missed them. It's just the way I was playing, it was never guided that way. And that's one of the reasons why I generally don't look at a lot of play guides, you know, or anything like that for games that are new like this, especially with Fallout. But now, see, if they've been smart, they would have just made a big... Well, whatever, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a complaint. I'm staying away from complaints. Uh, I don't really care about the fact there's an invisible barrier. The, one of the real benefits of Fallout has always been that exploring aspect where... You really just could find anything. You know, come around a corner. Because this is very different from, oh, probably half of the area I was in in the first video, where it was a lot of barren, radiated land and broken houses. Now, this is all, you know, this looks like a completely normal world. There's no trace whatsoever here of the fact that this is a post nuclear uh, apocalypse scenario. It's green, it's lush, it looks like fall or winter, you know. You can hear the birds in the distance. There's insects. You can't really... Oh, yeah, you can, you can hear them. The crickets. Wind blowing through. There's a lot of really... Which brings me to my second thing. There is a lot of beautiful sound work in this game. From the soundtrack to the radio stations to just the ambient sound that really couples with the graphics and, and I think makes them all better. That makes everything sort of... Con Con, not congeal is the wrong word. Uh, coalesce, better word. Congeal sounds like what happens to your mayo when you leave it out too long. Or actually, I guess that would be... That's not congealing. Mayo is already kind of congealed. Whatever. I don't like the word congeal. It's, a, it's got a negative connotation. So we'll go with coalesce. All of the ethereal bits come together to form this really wonderful environment that you get to walk through. And, you know, that, that does stuff like this. Where you can walk through and just... Oh, I thought I could harvest those. Oh, yeah, I can. Long fungus. This, or I can't, did I harvest them? It's kind of hard to tell I did. This sort of offsets what I was talking about in the other video about the emptiness, is then you get stuff like this, where you just kind of stop and 
appreciate the fact that they've constructed this really lush environment. You know, and now we're getting back to, you know, you're starting to see, oh, this, wow, this looks like an atomized house. I found a space station in, oh, the other night I found the big crash space station, which was kind of interesting because I didn't know it was there at all. I didn't know there was anything of that because, um, phosphate. Oh, okay. How much of this can I, ooh, fertilizer. Yeah, this is something else that I don't remember in 4 at all, where there's veins of things to collect, which is kind of neat. I like that they've, they've added that element to it kind of gives you an additional way to, to get stuff, and there's these giant funguses which I've been collecting, I don't know what they're for. But a lot of that, you know, a lot of the early playthrough in this game in particular is grabbing things and not knowing what they're for. Uh, there are... Um, so the graphics, I think, are perfectly fine. They may not be the most stellar things in the world, but I don't think they're ugly. I really don't think you can look at something like this and say it's ugly. Outside of what's... S oh, crap. Oh, boy. All right, let's get it to cover at least from the guy shooting. I can take one of these guys. I don't want to take all of these, a bunch of these guys at once. So I'm, staying, I'm going to stay in cover here. At least I get my gun out and I can start doing some long range. Yeah. Down you go, sucker. All right, uh, let's see. Where's the other ones? I will admit I'm not really, really great at talk and combat at the same time, so I'm going to kind of focus on using this gun I love so much to take people out at long range. Oh, I think I shot him in the arm. <laughs> Good night! I have to be a little careful because I'm not in top health here. Okay, this guy's coming around, is he? Took a piece out of him there. Get down. Oh, this guy way, way out. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Uh, can't multitask too much in combat, so I've got to be careful. Oh, okay, he's down. He's down. Okay. Down. Anybody else? Gotta be insane. Danger. Who else? Where are you? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I saw some. Let's see. Ow. Where's that one hitting me from? Oh, okay, there it is. Maybe. That might be him. Ooh, one shot. That was a sneak attack? Whatever, I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? There's gotta be more. Is that a person? Nope. That was worth a round just to find out. Okay, wait. I sort of saw where that came from. Hold on. It's in this general vicinity. But where? Is that a guy? Oh, there's two guys. Up there. Ooh, wow. So three guys up there. I didn't hit that guy? Really? This doesn't have that much range? I thought it did, but that's okay. No problem. I know where they are now. It's really... Is it bullet drop, or am I just really missing it? I can't tell if I... I might have hit... Oh, yeah, I did. I hit somebody there. Okay, hold on. I think I am actually hitting them. It's just that their their bars are being hidden by other bars. Let me get down here. I don't know if this actually helps my accuracy at all, but I'm going to crouch. Well, it helped with that. Sneak attack. Really? Okay. It wasn't really bad. Uh, I know I missed that at Bob. Got that one. Who's left? Well, wherever they are, I must not be able to see them properly. Okay, wait a minute. There's another guy in there? Alright, well now I'm just wasting rounds because I can't see anything. So, caps, caps. I'll take the gunpowder. Actually, I'll take that. There's probably something I can scrap with here. So, yeah, I I will say the uh, the other thing is once once you sort of have a... I don't know if the femur's worth anything, if it's any good for anything, but I'll take it. I did find that I was struggling a little bit with this game early on, although in fairness, they, I think, thinking back to Fallout games in general, I have always struggled initially. Is that person alive? Oh, okay, he was. Is that another one behind him? Oh, it is. Okay. They're just standing. I missed. I can tell I missed on that one. Hold on one second. Yeah, all right. Is that everybody? Well, it's not everybody, but... There's a good chance we're going to be at, uh, what do you call it, tight combat now. So, okay. So if I come, if I encounter anybody now, there's a good chance it's going to be up close because I'm in here. So there's probably somebody hiding or in an area where I can't see them. Oh, that's that's nice. Yeah. So in in a lot of ways, I think this game is actually probably the best looking fall game I've played. Not in a lot of ways, it really is. And, and a lot of that is because, and this is something that Fallout has always done well, is, is it's the sound design. Um, the music is great. The, 
you know, the, the background sound effects really sell the idea of kind of being in the forest, in the woods, and there's a lot of really smart sound elements that are being used in here. Uh, so that's definitely, you know, again, the, the, the criticisms about the graphics, I think, are, ooh, good wood pile, I need wood. I, I mean, for building stuff, so that's actually something that I, I didn't realize how scarce that resource was for me for a while, and... Uh, I got a real sense of it once I actually started trying to actually build things. So I, I would definitely counter that I think the graphics are actually quite good. Again, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is the prettiest game I've ever played, but I I think calling it ugly is pretty unfair with the type of games that that come out. Let's Let's try to keep things in perspective to a degree. I do not think this is an ugly game. Uh, and in part, you know, the aesthetics are not going to be nice and pretty and shiny. This is supposed to be after a major, you know, nuclear cataclysm destroyed a lot of things. There is an ugliness that should be here. If everything was shiny, would that really make sense to anybody? I don't think so. I think uh, sometimes people don't really think about what they're saying. I'll just leave it at that. But I think that the criticism that this is an ugly game... Um, yeah, I'm kind of struggling with that a little bit. So, let's see. Let's see if I can repair my weapons. It's always a good idea I'm finding in this game. Early on, they were breaking all the time and at the worst possible moments. So, that is one thing that uh, I am glad that they... Okay, nothing left to do there. Uh, let's see. Can I modify anything on this? I doubt it. I'm pretty... I'm pretty set on this. I don't think the true receiver does much for me. Oh, well, it does a little bit. Oh but, it, oh, but it reduces the friggin' damage too much. Now, I like the damage of this gun. I, I really do. I wonder what the true long barrel does. The true long barrel is... Oh, it really doesn't do anything. Huh. It doesn't even seem to increase the range. Okay, well, if it doesn't do anything, then there's no point in doing it. No, it's perfectly fine. I mean, this gun is in great shape. A true stock. The aligned stock. It doesn't even do anything. I mean, it gives... No, it doesn't even... It doesn't increase... It doesn't really do anything except increase the weight, honestly. Okay. I already looked at the scope. Oh, a suppressor would be really nice. I will tag that for search. I am enjoying the hell out of this gun. Or R3. Okay, let's let's tag that. Wait, did I tag it for search? I think I did already. Did I... Did I not tag it for search? Why did it suddenly go away? Did I? Hold on. Did I... Why did the tag for search thing gray out? Huh. Hold on. Let me just make sure I didn't do something here. Not really sure why the... Um... Not really sure why the tag for search option went away. Let me just look at something. I would like to... I... Oh, actually, what does the suppressor do? Oh, it doesn't even harm it. It really doesn't. It doesn't harm it. Okay. So what do I need for that? Because I don't know if my tag for search thing worked properly. I need... I have adhesive. I have... Oh, I need aluminum. No, no. I have enough aluminum. I need... Requires. Okay. Aluminum. Well, maybe I need more. Okay. Whatever. I'll figure it out. So... Uh, sorry, I kind of got derailed by looking by actually looking at that because I'm now getting I'm actually getting to a point now where like uh, that that sniper rifle I really like it so I'm I'm trying to pay attention to uh, apparently I need to drink something. Um, I sort of mentioned this in the last one. I think the survivor survivor survivor. Blah, blah, blah. I think that they have done a really good job in introducing survival elements without making them really overbearing because in a lot of games I did mention this last time I know this for sure I mentioned this the the survival elements there it is again that friggin spoiled vegetable comes back in other games that I've played with their survival elements they can become really really annoying really fast this game has avoided that so far I have not gotten to a point where I feel like even when I'm starving or dehydrated that the game is making it where I can't play uh, so I think that they Survival elements do make some sense. Some people didn't understand why you would include that. I do kind of get that. I, I get that, you know, that there's... I think that they shouldn't make it any heavier than it is, for sure. They should keep it at the level it is. 
which is just light enough that it's there, but it doesn't become really overbearing. But it does it does add to this idea that, you know, you, you are in a world where you have to survive. This is a tough world to be in. Uh, oh, medical vending machine. Yeah, I don't really need to spend uh, caps on them. Loose gears. I will take some loose gears, and I'll take a lead pipe. Since I know there's a thing right there, I can just scrap everything. So it's it's a good idea to take stuff. So I think that's that's been a successful thing that honestly I really wasn't sure how that was going to work because that's pretty much a brand new element for Fallout was introducing survival mechanics. And survival mechanics in general can be a divisive thing in games. Um, they can in some cases make or break a game. Okay, I definitely hear footsteps, so somebody's here. There he is. <laughs> Oh crap, I don't have any grenades equipped. I thought I did. That was a bit of an error. Okay. Um, and the problem is since there's no pause, I can't stop to equip them really without risking taking some heavy damage. So let me move down. Let me get into my stuff here. Get over. Okay, now I've got a grenade. Switch back to shotgun. Load up some ammo. Throw it! I don't know if that's close enough to hurt him. Sure isn't. Okay. Shot leg. Well, that worked out. I have noticed that that is one thing which I didn't do so well in other Fallout games. Is the idea of crippling the enemies to get them to stop moving so much. That is... I am finding that to be vital in this game. Uh, the, you know, shoot them so you can slow them down, especially, or you know, hit them in there, kind of Let's see how he likes a grenade in the face. Oh, jeez, I didn't see this guy. It's impact time! Alright. I know I'm reloading, I'm reloading. Ah, I'm out again. It's only reloading one at a time so I can shoot. Oh, most of shotgun shells. That will be a problem. That will certainly be a problem. Okay, let's reload a little bit here. I think I'm out of grenades, too. Another one? Oh, okay, got him. Jeez, this place is loaded! Holy crap! Unbelievable how many there are here. I definitely need something better than that. Maybe this will work. Okay, that's better. I'll probably get him. I did get him. Jeez, I'm in a lot of trouble, though. I am in a lot of friggin' trouble here. Like, I need to get into cover of some kind, because I don't even know if I have another stim pack. And my shotgun's running low. I might have to switch to my 44. But still, you know what? This is not... Okay, hold on. Let me see if I have enough time to eat something. Bit of a risk. I don't want to use another one. Okay. Screw it, use it. I wasn't going to use another stim pack, but I think I need to. I, I just think I'm going to get really hung here if I don't. Okay. Got it. Okay. Obviously, there's more guys because it still says danger. I did not realize how much opposition there was in here. I might not. I mean, I probably would have come in here. But I definitely would have done things. Oh, wow. Jeez. That guy was loaded. I probably would have done some more stuff from long range before I walked in here. But that's okay. I mean, it's... It's because there's a thing right there that I can, uh... What do you call it? Uh, scrap stuff at. It's perfectly fine. Okay, oh, got some dog food. I need that to eat. You have to come out sooner or later. Well, that's a debatable whether I actually have to. Okay. So the... So graphics, sound, especially... Oh, good. Crafting table right here. Okay, we can just craft the boards because I need the wood, frankly. Yeah, I'm waiting for somebody to come up on me. That's a left arm. Do I even have anything on my left arm? I don't think I do. I do not. Okay. Piercing... Ooh, that's a sniper rifle. Hello! Yes! All right. Well, we're... Ooh, suppressor. But I think it's for the shotgun. I think it's for my stuff. Um, level 15... Well, I did accidentally scrap my 10 millimeter. So maybe I'll keep that and throw it into my stuff. Okay. 
let's uh, take some cover here. Boy, do I need ammo for that thing. I think I am going to change over to my 44 mag in a minute. Because uh, I think I'm going to be in trouble. A lot of trouble. It's getting dark. Let's pop the lights on. The, the pit boy light. I don't know if he's down here. Jeez, what happened here? Why is there so much radiation, too? I don't know what's giving off the radiation. Um, I did get a suit of armor. Uh, like Fallout 4, I doubt I'm going to be using it all that much. I found that the power armor in Fallout 4 was uh, not always the most useful item to have, but uh, I'm glad I've got it in case I need it. There may be some heavy areas I have to go into later where it becomes necessary. Testing. So, what, was I, what did I leave off on? I don't remember now. God, jeez, what happened in here? I thought there was a guy. It's not. The, uh, so again, the areas are very diverse. So really, I mean, everything that I've liked about Fallout, I still like. Uh, I, I don't... I, outside of the emptiness, which I talked about in the last video, like I said, I don't want to necessarily rehash the negative elements. I'd rather kind of focus on the, the stuff that I think works well. And a lot of that is honestly what has... Okay, what do I have for a left arm? Okay, I've got that. Um... Damage six and six. Four and eight. Huh. Well, you know what? I'm going to switch to the robot arm. I can scrap the other one. Um, you know, the the things are... Where was where'd that left arm go? I just saw it. It's got to be in the panel. That's weird. How can I... Where did it go? Oh, maybe I can't scrap it. Anyhow. The combat feels pretty much the same, which is to say, oh, is this a radiation? St oh, it is. It's radi I didn't even know those were in here. The weather. See, I don't remember if Fallout 4 had weather. It might have, and maybe I just have missed it. Okay, I gotta take some uh, right away. I'm gonna take a Rad X to kind of reduce my exposure here. I wonder how long these last, because I have to stay in here for a while. If it if it lasts for a while, because it's. I mean, you could take cover, so I'm not getting affected too badly, but I can't really do anything. The yeah, music's good. The the combat, like I said, there's first and third person views. If that's your, if that's something that's a priority to you, I don't think third person. I think there was third person in four. I don't remember whether third person was built into. Okay, I think it went away. Into New Vegas and um, three. I really can't remember now. But uh, let's see. Is this guy? Oh, I see what that is. Okay. Let's see. I mean, it's, they gotta be around here. I'm just dreading that there's like 18 guys out here. Okay, you know what? I'll go down those stairs. I like a lot of the use of color. This is what I mean about it. I, I really think that saying this is an ugly game is... is frankly, I, I don't know what you want. Um... Outside of, yes, of course there are prettier games. There always are prettier games. But I don't think that means that there's... That this game is necessarily ugly. Uh, you know, I mean... Wait, weren't there stairs? Where the hell are the stairs? Am I blind? Oh, they're on the other thing. I see it. I got it. I don't know what I was doing there. Um, I don't know. The, the, quest, the quests have been good. I haven't gotten a lot of them, I'll be honest, because I really have been focusing on exploration. So I can't... The one that I got, the Cold Case one, that one I thought actually had a lot of nice length to it. Because I've seen complaints about the quest too, which I, I somewhat agree with... Oh, there he is. I oh, there's smell the guy. your fear, So to a degree, are the quests limited? Uh, or I, I mean, the event, the event things I find can be blood bog meat. Yeah, I'll skip that. Thanks. I know what people mean about the events being intrusive. They are, but I don't think that's bad. I think that's that's it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I think is more okay. Am I stuck on something, or am I not able to get to that guy? You know what? I really don't care. He's probably not guy anything that's too tremendously fantastic. This, I will say, it is nice finding a, uh, what do they call these? A lumber mill. There we go. Had to think for a minute. When I need wood, because wood is, for at least my basic structure, is pretty important. 
Um, I think that they have they the railroad stations, which you need for basically if you don't have your camp nearby, because it does cost some money to move your camp. Although honestly, how many caps do I have? I really don't feel like I've even spent 350, 359. Yeah, that's fine. I really don't spend caps on anything, although it does seem like there are far less caps in this game. There's probably, I'm sure, there's a there's a strategy thing somewhere that tells you how to make a lot of caps. I've seen ones on how to level up fast. Like I said, I haven't really, I haven't watched any of those. I don't really care. Okay, yeah, I mean, you can complain about that, I guess. But, because uh, that's not very realistic floating. But, uh, I think it, it, games where I would feel like I'm forced to read guides to be able to figure out how to use them. Um, that would probably bother me a bit. That would that would be a detriment. I don't feel like that's the case with this game. I think that... Okay. Something just erupted out of the ground, but I don't see it. It's not attacking me, so I don't really care. Oh. Hold on. Yes, it is. Oh. Ah! Where is he? Where are you? Gotcha. Yeah, the mole rats. Mole rats and dogs are probably my top annoyances in this game. Okay, so there's going to be another one, right? No? Okay. Well, I can eat mole rat meat. So I might as well. Just to keep myself from being too low on the uh, survival totem pole, I was gathering some wood here. Because I do need wood. Alright. Now, where was the little... Oh, it was over here. So I feel like this game has... It has enough of a tutorial, and it's sort of... Again, if you've played Fallout, obviously it's going to be a lot quicker to pick these things up. You will really, especially from 4, you know, in that way, the, the basic mechanics of 4 have absolutely been carried over into this. This is pretty much Fallout 4 from a, a mechanic standpoint. If you know how to play Fallout 4... Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, this thing has a lot of stations. A lot of them don't have this many... Or maybe they do and I didn't find them. What is that? I thought that was like a space helmet for a minute. I do have to get back to the space station because there there is a spacesuit there. Which I quite badly want. But, uh, alright, let's scrap this stuff. Anything else I can scrap here? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Um, I might... Yeah, that is one of my favorites. I do like that thing quite a bit. Nothing there. Okay. Alright, uh, so we'll keep going here. So I feel like the mechanics are easy to learn, even if you've never played Fallout. Um, you know, again, uh, I, I, in my particular playthrough, and I can only, I can only come at this from my particular standpoint, meaning what I've experienced. As far as the game itself and the connections and everything, I have not encountered a lot of bugs. I have not had a lot of connection problems. So the things, again, this is not to say that people who are encountering those aren't encountering them. They are. I can't list that as a negative because I'm not experiencing it. I'm, I assume that they're going to be improving those things. So if that's a problem you're having, I'm, oh boy, look at this thing. <laughs> oh, I can't repair it. Oh yeah, I can. Repair that. Let us see what we have here. A severe receiver goes to what 56 that's interesting critical shot damage hmm the true long barrel I'm just curious about this thing all right so we've got a standard mag the large mag armor penetration a quick mag he's got the stinging it's interesting that it's got the armor piercing thing this has the short scope superior sighted accuracy 88. It's not as good as the long range one, but I need more stuff for that. Fascinating. I don't know about this one. What does it take? It takes 308 as well. Hmm. Well, we'll get to all that. So this thing now can have a friggin' suppressor, which I, I really don't know. I, this is something Atlanta and I have talked about in, uh, uh, what's the word for it? In, uh, Ghost Recon. You know, the idea of having a suppressed shotgun is so friggin' funny to me. I don't, I don't I just find that to be hilarious. All right. God, I've got like no ammo for that. So I better switch that weapon out because um, while I would like to use it, I, I don't have enough ammo to really use it reliably. Not that I have a ton in this, but, you know, it's it'll do some damage up close, I think. 
All right, let's keep moving here. So really, I mean, those are the things that, I don't know if I can go much further this way, but I'll try. <coughs> Those are the positives so far, and I think that's why, you know, largely, I, I don't have any problems with this game. Uh, because I think it's delivering... I wonder if this is... Can I get in this water? I can. I cannot go that way. Really? Okay, I was going to say, because I kind of... Okay, so the water is the barrier. Take a little bit of rounds here. So I'm going to get out of the water over here. Risking what... Okay, I'm trying to get out. I, but I'm overburdened right now, so it's hard for me to get out. Get out, get out, get out. I'm out. So, so far, really, in general, I like this game. This is what I said last time. A lot of people are loving or hate it. I'm, I'm not at either end of that spectrum. And I really can't see myself hating it unless, unless they do an update that suddenly introduces a lot of problems. Which, you know, that is... And I wanted to keep this positive... So, you know what, actually, this is a, it's a positive and a negative of games like this. The positive is, you know, from everything I'm hearing, and I don't know how strictly true this is, so I'm, I'm always kind of hesitant when a company promises something to necessarily believe that they mean what they're saying. But everybody keeps referring to free lifetime DLC. And, number one, let's see. You know, I, I, I don't trust anything like that till it actually happens. I'm not saying Bethesda's lying, I'm just saying let's see if it happens. Uh, what the Lifetime DLC means is also kind of, you know, there that can mean a lot of things. I don't know what that means yet. What is that? Oh, it's just a bird on the map. <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, let's go find, let's go look at the Wonder Wheel. It's dead ahead of me. So that sounds great. And I really hope that that's, that that is what it sounds like it's going to be. Uh, Lifetime DLC sounds pretty awesome. Um... So that is the benefit of what they call a game-as-a-service model, where it's something that's constantly updated and, you know, things are, in theory, constantly added to it. Uh, we have to see that. I mean, the, the one thing is, if people are having these many bugs, or this many, these many, this many bug problems and connection errors, that, that stuff was all going to get ironed out first, and I'm sure that's what they're focused on. But so far, for me, that has been... One of the, 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 probably, I mean, outside of weird stuff, visual stuff, like the thing about the Rad Roach, the, or the uh, Rad, no, not the Rad Scorpion. Short of the magically appearing and supersonic flight Rad Scorpion that I saw, which was more hilarious than it, you know, I mean, some people, oh, that breaks the immersion. I guess. I've never been, you know, I, <laughs> there are things that I feel like they take you out of a game a lot. But I find those things to be more related to really, really unfair and out-of-nowhere difficulty spikes. Things that, that make you... Because immersion is a funny thing, and people judge it differently, so it's this is all subjective stuff, as so, many of this, so much of this is. But as far as stuff that breaks immersion, a rad, ro a rad scorpion appearing and flying up into the air, I find charming and weird. I don't care that it makes me realize I'm playing a game because there are so few games where I don't think I'm playing a game. I mean, you know, I know that's that's something you can get with VR, but as far as a standard non-VR experience, there are a few times, the last one I can think of where I really felt like the game achieved something that was outside of just playing a game was Assassin's Creed Origins, where, and I mentioned this in one of the late nights I did earlier in the year, I'm pretty sure, uh, there was a point where, all right, let's see how this gun functions, because I haven't used this yet. Not bad! <laughs> um, you know, it really, there was something that happened in the game that actually really made me angry, and that's a rarity in games. That, to me, is... You know, I, I don't know if that qualifies for some people as immersion or not. But the fact that I had a real visceral response to something, to me, was an achievement. Because most games, you know, you get little moments of stuff like that. There's things where I go, oh, that's really neat looking. Or, oh, that was a fun fight. But there's few times where I actually have a real response to something. And, and that had it. Uh, so that's, to me, sort of a more important thing than, than immersion, necessarily. Uh, so a red, 
scorpion appearing and shooting up into the air violently is not a problem for me. Some people get very hung up on those things because they find that it does break the immersion thing for them. And I guess if it does, then, you know, that's something you have to be aware of that will happen. Oh, I forgot. It's... <sighs> okay. This is one thing I've sort of been annoyed with. I still don't quite have the hang of how the favoriting system and the weapon switching works, because it doesn't seem to work the way that they keep saying it should. Not really. Alright, they're all over now, so... Yeah, okay. Gotcha! Stay down, stay down, stay low. No one's slow, no one's slow. You got it, shot out. Gotcha! This gun ain't bad, I'll tell you. No, it ain't. I actually hadn't used it before now. I think I just shot that person's crotch out. Whatever works. Fatal wound's a fatal wound, baby. Yeah! Okay, oh, there's one more. Where are you? Ooh. I missed that. Where the hell is this person? Okay, I know I missed that. That was completely on me. Alright, hold on. Let's get this person in my sights. Got that one. Any more? No, well, that might be it. Let's see. Any danger? I think I'm good. Oops, I hit the transfer button. Let me holster my weapon. Okay, safety first, everybody. Safety first. Okay. So, as far as that stuff goes, you know, the little glitches like that, they don't bother me. I've always found them kind of... I always find the funny stuff. I think if, if, it, if a glitch doesn't break or get you stuck, if it doesn't impede progress, then I find it charming. Uh, but I understand some people don't look at it that way. You know what I'm going to do? Since I'm right here, I'm going to take a little bit of rat away, and hopefully... Perfect, and now I'm going to rest. This is this is basically free HP. Uh, you know, I do wish you could speed this up, but I understand why you can't. It's real time, so you basically have to sit there and stare at yourself as you nap, which is... and you can't do anything. I mean, uh, I, think, I think maybe I can pop the map up? That's about it. I can pop the map up. But that's all. So this is a little boring. But, you know, it's it's free it's free health restoration, so I can't really complain. Um, so largely, the positive stuff, and I think that, you know, it, it's not a ton of things, but it's the important stuff. I think it's got a... It's, the graphics are perfectly good. Perfectly good. Are very good. I'm actually going to say they're very good. I think they're the best graphics that I've seen in a Fallout game outside of modding. Of course, modding makes everything better. But as far as the, as the pure vanilla experience, perfectly fine. You know, the graphics are good. They they look... You know, the, the rotten parts look rotten because they're supposed to. The good parts look good. The sound design, uh, which has always been, let's be honest about it, one of the high points of Fallout, is still one of the high points of Fallout. The soundtrack, the ambient noise, all of it put together does absolutely put you know sell this idea of where you are in the environment i do love the wind chimes they're all over the place and i'll hear those and i don't know why i like them so much i mean they're not a major thing nothing happens because of them but i really like the fact that you hear the wind, wind chimes all the time like that's a really neat little tiny touch that i think helps sell again the outside the wind blows and then you hear the chimes it's all just card it's all parts of making this overall experience uh, which i again I think in those ways, and those are the important ways, uh, that and the storytelling, and the storytelling is the one where it is far more subjective. I will absolutely stipulate that, that some people are going to get way more out of this story than others. Um, I have, I haven't found it to be the, it's not on the New Vegas level yet, but I completely allow that it could be. Uh, it might get there, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to... You know, I think sometimes, too, with a game that's brand new, we sort of make declaratives about things as if we know the final result. And, of course, especially in a game like this that is designed to be updated and changed as time goes on, I think it's very hard to say that at some point it will not get to... Oh, I wonder if I can eat pumpkins. Can I eat them? Oh, I can. That it's not going to... And I better eat them now because they're going to go bad because that's what happens. So I'm just going to eat them because why not? Anything that can go bad, you might as well just eat it right away because it will go bad. You'll forget about it. Uh, there was a house the other way. Let me look at something. Where is the map? Um, okay, no. And I want to go... Let's see. Because I want to explore the outer edges first. Okay. 
probably go discover this and then it'll probably be where I wrap up. But I wanted to, I did want to do another video where I talk about the positive things because I do think there are a lot of positives in this game. Uh, and I think they're being largely drowned out by, again, everything in here is completely and utterly subjective. So that is one of the big problems with a game like this, especially with 76, because it isn't laying out a straightforward, obvious narrative in the same way that the other games have. You have to... The other games, you know, you didn't... What's the word for it? It was a far less mm, proactive narrative in that you didn't have to kind of make your own narrative. And part of what 76 is doing is saying that the player makes their own narrative through their social interactions. Well, that's... I don't know why this isn't mining anymore. Maybe that's a bug. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't think I'm full. My... Did I hit some... Arbi no, there's no way. 221? No. I could definitely hold more than that. So I don't know why this isn't... No. Okay. Okay. I thought it disappeared after a minute. Is it that much of it? it doesn't seem like it. Okay, that one went away. That one, I think, is bugged. So there's a bug. But again, that's... This is the worst kind of bug I've hit. I can't mine anymore. But again... Um, I said again twice really, really quickly. Sorry about that. To reiterate... There's a different... Oh, dogs! Friggin' dogs, man. I don't like shooting dogs. I've had to shoot a lot of dogs in this game. No, luckily, I don't think I can get up here. I could be wrong about that. I'll find out in a minute if I'm wrong about that. I think I'm wrong about that. <laughs> I'm wrong about that! Yep, I sure am. Well, at least they can't, really they can't corner me. There we go. What was that? That was a king mongrel? Ooh, yeah, stim pack. Very nice. Ah, I forgot to load. That's alright. I don't think this is going to be a problem for me. And besides, there's a bed right here if I actually really needed it. Um, so the narrative thing, yeah, it is different in that way because it isn't straightforward the way it has been before. You know, it's... Once you, once you have that thing where you're telling people that to some degree they're creating their own narrative, and only and only to some degree, there they're clearly are quests in this game. I've seen that before, too, that there's no quests in this game. Yeah, there are. There definitely are quests in this game. I don't, I don't know what that means when people say that. There are absolutely quests in this game. Uh, so... Oh, damn. Damn! I've got to get that lockpicking skill up. So, uh, that's just ridiculous. There are quests. Are the quests the same as they used to be? No, there, there is a difference, for sure. I leveled up? Oh! I didn't realize that. Oh, good! Park cards. Let's see what we get here. Yes, give me the pack. Please have lockpicking. Oh, please have lockpicking. Uh, no. Okay, that one. What is that one? Inc oh, the plumber. Yeah, it's pipe, though. I don't care about pipe. Alright, let's think about this. Well, this is the one I've really been focusing, uh, as you can clearly see, on intelligence a lot. Agility a little. <sighs> Let me think about this. Number of action points, ability to sneak. Well, sneak is... Oh, let's think. No, I want I want perception. I just do. Basic combat training means automatic rifles. Why well, don't use that? Concentrate. That's bats. Crack shot. Uh, um, you know what? I'm gonna do the rifle one, not automatic, because that's what I've tended to really be specializing in. So we'll go ahead and do that. Do rifleman. Okay, so perception. I can have another card, can I? I certainly can. So I'm out of uh, cards, too. I'm maxed out on two. One is one. Charisma is one. <clears throat> Intelligence, three, four. That's seven. That's got to be the next one I do so I can do the rad perk. Agility is two, and I've got two. Moving target. And What's this one? Oh, pistol's way less. I don't know. Is that really that great? First of the afterlife in a full sprint. Eh, that could be beneficial. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I want to place anything for that. And this one is... Pharma, Pharma. Oh, yeah, okay. What's this? 
serendip. I can't even equip that one. What's that one? Yeah, I don't care about that. Okay. Well, whatever. That was, that was good. Got to level up. So, yeah, the narrative thing, uh, that is going to be metal tub lid. Well, that certainly won't be light. That is going to be a very mixed experience, I think, for some people. I think if you, if you have friends that play this game or want to have a, an experience like I did where I ran into those random two guys who were very nice. So, you know, thus far, people have tended to be not scumbags when I've run into them in this game, and that's great. Fuel tank, I know you get good stuff from that. Ooh, wood. Good, good, this is great. I've had such a shortage of wood from uh, wood scraps that that was a real problem for me for a little bit. Can I scrap? Oh, thank you. Excellent. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm going to scrap that lead pipe. I don't want it. I don't like, I don't use pipe bolt stuff. I've mostly been picking those up for recon. Uh, this is for shotgun stuff. Okay. Well, that's got me down to 208, which is still not nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. What I need to do is probably get back to my camp so that I can uh, dump my stuff off. But first, I'm just going to take every single friggin' thing I see, because why not? I, you know what? I should really put my, like, the salt and all. I'm not doing a lot of cooking yet, so I don't know that there's much of a benefit. You know, I'll scrap the bottles, whatever. Glass has got to come in handy for something. One would think. So what I'll do is, anything down here? Oh, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Take it all, take it all, take it all. Because I'm just going to scrap it. So what's the difference? All right, let's see. Um... Yeah, acid is supposed to be... I think the acid is what you need for... What was it again? The For making your own weaponry. Okay. Let's see. Now, I actually haven't tried to fast travel to my camp before. Is this my camp? Where's my camp? My camp. Oh, that's free. That's right. Over encumbered. Oh, yeah. See, that's where they get you. All right. Well, you know what? The end of this video is going to be me journeying back to my camp. Or attempting to. And, uh, let's see if I make it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I will. Uh, but overall, you know, I, I, there's been no point of this game only very early on. And I guess if you're, if you're considering picking this up, I'll, I'll give you this warning. Early on, uh, you will probably die a lot, depending on, you know, kind of where you wander. Um. That was one thing that I did see. I, I kind of read through. There was a, there's was there been a couple of guides that said, okay, getting started in Fallout 76, what should you do? And apparently I went right when I should have gone left coming out of the vault. So that is why I got uh, viciously assaulted for a while in the beta. Now, my stuff from the beta all carried over into this session. Or into the regular game, I should say, not this session. But the regular game. So that wasn't really a problem for me anymore. Once I got out of the beta, so I was past all the early... I'm going to go discover this since it's right here. Once I can walk again, I might as well. Once I was past all the early, the first hour or two's worth of hiccups and sort of learning curve stuff, then once I started the regular game, I was a lot more comfortable with what was going on and, and how the game was working, and that, that helped a great bit. But... You know, part of that was, I, honestly, I didn't pay attention to the tutorial because I was kind of like, okay, I, I I know Fallout 4, so what do I really need somebody to tell me how to play this? Uh, so that a little bit of that was stupidity on my part. I'll freely admit that. I hear something. Ah! Feral ghouls. I haven't seen a lot of feral ghouls, to be honest. The few that I have encountered, the other times, man, I think I was recording... Is that recording the one? Where I got just annihilated by those high-level ones. I don't remember if I was recording that or not, so I don't know if that was something you guys would have seen. You guys, is anybody who's watching this, you might have seen that. Uh, which was uh, not the most fun thing in the world, <laughs> I'll be honest. But, um, okay, so wait a minute, since I don't, I don't know why my camp doesn't... It's so sort of surprising that there isn't always a marker for your camp. Uh, maybe that would... Joining event. Yeah, here's... Um, okay, I'm, I'm joining this only to leave. So, something Responders, will come... Responders, priority alert! Looks like those damn yep. wolves are on the hunt again. Air Swatch has spotted multiple packs. I'm not sure... Uh, whereabouts are unknown. I repeat, Alpha's location is unknown. We need to 
Generating something. Jeez. Get my ass kicked. Just not. Just turn light on. Let's see, I guess. At least the leader's dead. Reloading. Obviously. Jeez. Step back. Okay, that was good. I'm trying, I'm trying, man. I don't know why I'm only loading two rounds at a time. It's okay. It's getting mad. Okay. Whew. Not fun. What was I supposed to do? Kill the first wolf pack leader. Didn't I do that? Oh, okay. Better eat something. I got my, uh... Got my ass handed to me. So that's why I really don't like... I don't generally like doing these. Because, uh... I think these are... Oh, plus I'm out of ammo. Forget it. I'm not gonna fight these things. Alright, where am I going here? Hold on. I gotta re... I gotta re... Bear... Get my bear... There we go. Now my... See, that should always be there. You should always... And I would say it should be a different color. Because if you need to get to your camp, you should always be able to. Since you can't always fast travel, because, like, I can't. Because I'm over encumbered. Yeah, I don't care about the wolf pack thing that much. When I have more ammo... And I feel like doing that, I can always come back and do it. That seems like a sellable thing, but I need a better... Um... I don't know, the shotgun was pretty good. I think maybe I just need to do a little bit of improvement on it so it'll be more effective. But, uh... What was I saying before I suddenly stumbled into that? But by and large, I'm, I'm happy with it. I like this game. I'm, I'm having a fun time with it. Uh, I don't feel like, um... You know, that there are any shortage of things to do. Now, if you don't like exploration, this might not be the game for you. So I will tell you that. It's uh, some of this, because you're seeing large stretches where I'm just kind of wandering around. There are games where you can't just wander around very long, where there's always sort of something attacking you. I'm happy that's not the case here, because I think that would get really old really fast. Actually, what I will do is I'll probably build some walls around my camp. There's no point in me even having a defense for it. If somebody finds it, they're going to get it, which... I think they said anything that's... What is that? Oh, those are just... Those are just fireflies? Is that what, those, what is this little thing? That's not my camp. What is this? What is this? Uh, what the hell am I looking at? They're enemies, but they're not attacking me. So I'm not really inclined to... What is this little area? How have I not seen this before? Did I see this before and I just forgot? It's like a little weird... Oh, I'm gonna take the stuff that's here. Bird watchers. Always used to come here and watch the birds listen to the wind that chimes. Oh, these quiet birds are Huh. Interesting. See, little stuff like that is still really well done. That's one of the little things that they do well in these games. Is, um... These little story building elements like that. Fallout 4 had a lot of that too. Wood pile. Where, where was the wood pile? It just said wood pile. Oh, right there. Well, I'll take the wood. I won't disturb this little thing, whatever it is. It's interesting that the fireflies aren't attacking, but I'm going to leave them alone. That was kind of like I found a cat in the beta. I haven't seen a cat since I've been in the regular game. But I found a cat in the beta, and it showed up as an enemy. But it didn't attack me, so I just left it alone. I mean, why would I attack it? Now, what I'm going to be doing this time, by the way, unlike the first time where I was dumb about it, is the door is going to go right there. So we are going to do a little bit of building here. So we'll go in here. Okay, let's, uh, let's move the camp inside. And we'll put it right in the corner here. This is the corner of the house for now. <laughs> and, uh, let's see, switch the build. Let's, oh, that's the previous one. That was my old one. Um, just store that. 
yeah, go ahead and store that. Okay. Oh, is this the stored ones? Oh, good! I wasn't sure how that worked, but I guess that's how it works. So let's do a... Is this a wall? What am I looking at here? Uh, what is this? It's a wall. It is a wall. I wonder why I wouldn't put, let me put it there. Wall. Okay. I mean, I'm not... You know, I'm not looking to make anything huge at the moment. You know what? Let's see about... Um, floor. Can I put a floor here? Okay, so, hold on. I'm gonna move this wall. Because I might as well put a, a, what do you call it, a place to sleep. Okay. Okay, this is... I didn't realize I put that. Is that with some windows? Huh. I don't remember building walls with windows. I don't care. It's fine. Okay, is this... I think this is just too far over, so I can't put a wall there. Right, let's switch back to... Okay, yep, there we go. Okay. I'm going to put the door. Hold on. Let's plan this a little bit. The door's going to go there. Where's the door? Where's the wall with the door? There it is. See, now that's planning, everybody. <laughs> that was just stupid. I mean, it really was. It was just dumb that I didn't put a friggin' uh, the door where I could get to it. It was... It, I, I mean, I'm... I'm glad I wasn't recording. It was so embarrassingly stupid. That I would... I'm glad you didn't see it. Let's put it like that. Okay. Well, that's, um... What, did I, what was I going to do here? I was going to put a bed. Let's go to, um... Switch to build. Let's see if I can build a bed. Can I even do that yet? That would be decor, I think. <sighs> yeah. Forget the fences. I ain't even at... Th All this is way past the point of where I am. A bed. How about just a... Well, I don't want that bed. I thought it was bad to sleep on the floor. Does that apply here or not? Uh, let's see. You must do... Find plans to build the object. Crap, I thought sleeping on the floor was bad. Well, let's we'll see. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, what's another thing I can build? I guess it would be... You know, the crafting. The only other thing I can think of is armor stuff. Let's see if I can do that yet. That's chemicals... I don't think I can... No, Tinker, I know I can. What is this? Wait, where's... Oh, that's... Cr okay, wait, that's cooking. Armor! I do want armor. Okay, let's put armor... Not near the friggin' door, moron. Uh, let's put armor... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move the bed. Put the bed in the center. Actually, don't put the bed in the center. Let's put the bed right over near the camp thing. I mean, this is only the first one anyway, so I'm not really too too concerned about this. But, there we go. Uh, exit. Okay, perfect. Well, it's not centered, which will bug me, but I'll, I'll get over that quick. Okay, anything else that I need to get rid of? Let's make a quick look before I end here. Scrap the cane. Scrap the binoculars. And now we're going to put stuff into my stash. But at least, at least now I uh, have a better sense of what I'm doing. This camp's fine where it is. I really don't care. All right, let's take a look at this. You know, it's like, do I? I don't need to keep that on me. Um, you know what? That sniper rifle. When I have time to work on it, I'll come back. But I've got to get my stuff down here. Chameleon left arm. Is it better this one? I don't think it is. So I'm just gonna store it. Unyielding left arm. I don't know if that's any better either. Robot left arm, six and six, four and eight. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm just trying to get my weight down, honestly. It's so much stuff. Okay, what is taking up all the the room here? What is what is so heavy? Wait, do I have any more mods? I don't. Okay. What is the heavy stack? Um, what is heavy? Anything that's big and heavy, I gotta get rid of. Because I'm just carrying too much crap. Like nuclear waste. I don't even know what I can do with that yet. Um, what's the fiber? I mean, that would be neat for certain things. You know what? I should just store all this stuff. Well, the reality is if I store enough, then I can come back here. You know? 
it's not taking up much weight. Where's the aid? I don't... But let's take a look. Sorry, I, I saw that my video stopped, so I don't know where exactly I was talking. But I'm pretty much just looking... Oh, you know what? I don't need five salts. If these things are taking up weight, then they've got to go. Spoiled vegetables. You know what? I'll just store them. Sugar. What am I What am I dragging all the sugar around for? This perk bubble gum. I'm not using this stuff yet. I'm just not using these things. So, joining event. Yeah, the hell with that. Mentats, I don't use them. Pepper, I'm not using it yet. I'm getting rid of it. Um, Mentats, I'm not using them. Perk bubble gum, I'm not using it. Mentats, I'm not using this stuff. If I need it, I'll come get it. But I've got to get my friggin... I've got to get this weight down. Because this is just ridiculous. Uh, okay, well that's most of the stuff that I would probably not use. I think the rest of it I got... Oh, spices. Definitely don't need all the spices. Okay, I'm getting there. We're, we're close now, at least. Fragmentation mines. You know what? I have not had a use for those yet. Oh, baby! 165. Right on a dot. Excellent. Okay. Well, I think I have probably gotten rid of everything I can get rid of. Oh, you know what? Copper ore. Um, let's see. I'll keep that. Iron ore can go. Wow, look at that. I'm one under. Amazing. Gunpowder. Well, I do need that to be able to make... What do you call it? So... Anything here I don't need. I'm going to keep the rest. All right. Well, and then failed. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, hopefully this has been instructive outside of, I know you're watching me play with inventory, but you know what? This is what the game is. So now you've gotten to see it. So I hope uh, I hope I was more positive in this video. Oh, I'm getting XP because somebody else is doing it. Okay, sure. Um, and on that note, I will uh, talk to you guys later. Again, like last video, if you're playing this, I'd be curious what you're thinking of it so far. And, uh, is it is it meeting what you want? Is it is it Fallout? Is it not? Positives outweighing negatives, other way around. Let me know. All right, later.